Welcome to the practice. My name is Jelani and I'll be guiding you through this resistance flow, a muscle firming sequence designed especially for you to help you to melt away stress. So with no further ado, let's get started with the practice. So let's start off in Seisa, Japanese sit. Tuck your tailbone under, draw your belly button in and slightly elevate the chest. Soften your eyelids for a moment to tune in to your own breathing. If it's in your practice, you start applying your ocean's breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose with a slight constriction of the muscles at the back of your throat. And slowly open up your eyes again, being present, then on your next inhale, bring both arms up, preparing for a side stretch. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale to lengthen through the base of your skull. Extend the elbows. And as you exhale, slowly bend towards the left. Just a slight bend, creating a little space in between the ribs on the right half of your ribcage. Inhale to find center. Now grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and as you exhale, slowly bend towards the left. Same thing on the other side again. Inhale to center, left hand grabs a hold of the right. Exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale, center. Grab a hold of your left wrist and as you exhale, slowly bend towards the right. One more time on both sides. Inhale to center. Grab a hold of the right wrist, exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale, center. Grab a hold of the left wrist, exhale, bend towards the right. Now find center. Drop your left hand down towards your right thigh, your right hand behind your right foot. Lengthen through the base of your skull as you inhale and as you exhale, gently gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, grow through the base of your skull again. Keep pushing the hips down. As you exhale, slowly come out of the twist. Right hand towards the left thigh, left hand behind the left foot. Grow through the base of your skull again as you inhale and then on your next exhale, find a soft twist here again. One more inhale to lengthen. Exhale, come out of the twist. Now we're dropping down to tabletop position. All right, then we're moving towards tabletop position. Your knees underneath your hips, your hands underneath your shoulders, hug the elbows in. Now very slowly start sending your tailbone up as you inhale, chest bone upwards and gaze forward or maybe even upwards towards the ceiling. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly button in closer towards the spine and direct your head closer towards your arms. Inhale, hollow back, repeat. Exhale to round the spine. One more of these. Inhale, hollow back, tailbone up. Exhale to round the spine. Inhale, flat back. Now we're going to steer the pot. Send your left hip back as you exhale. Turn towards the right hip. Inhale, shift forward. Pass the wrist with your shoulders. And repeat two more times. Same direction. Stretching out the flanks, a little bit of the groins. Finding a nice wrist stretch. And then slowly find center again. Moving in the opposite direction now. Now you turn towards your right hip, then your left. Then you shift forward, left, forward, right. Keep connecting the movements to your breathing. One more of these babies. And then slowly find center again. Hug the elbows in. Now place your fingertips of your right hand on your right ear lobe. As you exhale, direct your right elbow towards your left elbow pit. Inhale, hold. As you exhale, find a subtle thoracic twist. Keep pressing down into the left hand, gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale to hold. Exhale, bring it down again. Inhale, hold. Exhale, bring it up. 
keep connecting those twists to your exhales. Exhale, bring it down last time. Inhale, hold. Exhale, bring it up again. Gaze up. And then on your next exhale, release the right hand down. Inhale, left hand lifts up, finding that twist on the other side. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow pit. Inhale, hold. Exhale, bring it up. Finding that thoracic twist. Exhale, down. Inhale, hold. Exhale, go up, almost as if you're doing crunches here. Exhale, bring it down. Hold, exhale, bring it up, last time. Inhale, hold, exhale, release down. Hands underneath your shoulder heads, now slightly bring them backwards, just a little bit. Now move towards the tops of your fingers as you inhale, hug the elbows in, and then on your next exhale, find an open twist. Your right hand reaches all the way up towards the ceiling, slide that right shoulder blade, towards the spine. One inhale, exhale, release down. Flatten the hands down, repeat, lift the hand palms up. As you exhale, send that right arm up. Hold for one inhale, exhale, release down. Flatten both hands down again. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift the hand palms. Exhale, find that twist on the left. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release down. Flatten the hands down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, find your twist again. One inhale. As you exhale, you release it all down. Hug the elbows in. Setting yourselves up for a leg extension. Now as you inhale, send the right leg out. Curl the toes towards you, nice dorsiflexion, hug the elbows in. And then as you exhale, tug the knee in, round the spine again as you did in the beginning. Inhale, send the right leg up. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, send it out, last time. And as you exhale, release the right knee down. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, send the left leg out. Push into the left heel. Exhale, tug the knee in. Inhale, send it out. Press into that left heel. Keep hugging the elbows in. Exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, tug it in and then release down. Awesome. Keep hugging those elbows in, nice and soft. Send your right leg out. We're going for an open knee tuck. Open up the right hip, point the toes this time. As you exhale, tuck the knee in, then rotate the knee inwards. Inhale, send it back. One more time. Point the toes, exhale, tuck it in. Find center line and then release down. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, left leg goes out. Point the toes. Exhale, tug it in. An open knee tuck. Bring it towards the center line, then drive it back. Point the toes. Tuck it in as you exhale. Keep it nice and high. Drive it towards the sideline, midline, and then bring it down. Position your left hand a little wider than the mat for a supported side plank. Extend your right leg, press into the outer edge of your right foot, and now send that right arm up, up and away. Keep breathing here, keep pressing into the floor, and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, release that right hand down, right knee down. Position your right hand a little wider than the mat this time around. Extend that left leg, push into the outer edge of your left foot, and then swing that left arm up again here for a supported side plank. You're here for five, for four, three, two, and one, release that left hand down, left knee in. 
Then we're going to set ourselves up for an elbow plank and you're going to drop your elbows down. You make sure that your wrists are in line with your elbows and palms facing downwards. Hugging the shoulder blades away from the spine, drawing the belly button in and keeping that tailbone tucked under. Now we're going to do shoulder blade slides. So very slowly slide your shoulder blades towards your spine as you exhale. As you inhale, round the spine. Move those shoulder blades away from the spine. As you exhale, drop shoulder blades. Move closer towards the spine with your shoulder blades. As you inhale, move them away. One more time. Exhale, slide closer towards the spine. Inhale, round. Now moving into a side plank variation. Turn towards your right hip, the outer edge of your right foot pressing into the floor, the inner edge of your left foot pressing into the floor. Left arm up, cactus shape. Hold for three, two, one. Release the left elbow down, repeating the same thing on the other side. Whoop. Right arm up, cactus shape. Gaze up for three, two, one. Release the right elbow down. Moving into a knee tuck variation. This time you draw that right knee in, left arm cactus shape again. For three, two, one. Same thing on the other side. Switching, finding a nice burn in those flanks. Hold that knee up for three, two, one. One, one more time on both sides. This time a fallen triangle variation. Extend that right knee this time around. Maybe keep it hovering for three, two, one. Same thing on the other side with a smile, preferably. Tuck it in, send it out for three, two, one. Now drop that right elbow down. Just hold, you're almost there for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly drop your hips down. Flatten the knees, uh, the feet down. You're almost in a sphinx-like pose. And then belly flat. Hands a little wider than the mat now. Fingertips resting on the mat. Inhale, slowly lift your chest. Exhale, go down. Two more of these. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, go down. One more. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, go down. Hands underneath the shoulder heads. Curl your toes under. Tabletop position again. And from your tabletop position, setting yourself up for down dog, curl your toes under, place your hands a little closer towards the top half of the mat, hug those elbows in, and then very slowly start peeling your knees off the mat. Keep your tailbone tucked in and slowly let your head drop in between your arms. Keep tugging that tailbone in, pressing into the inner edges of your feet. On your next inhale, send your right leg up for a three-legged dog. And then on your exhale, you're going to step your right foot towards the outside of your right hand. Now drop both elbows down for a lizard lunge for a moment. Keep pressing into that left heel. Be here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one, extend that left arm, place the fingertips of your right hand around your right earlobe, and then step that left foot towards the outer edge of the mat, left side. Left hand towards the right ankle, bend the elbow, and then as you exhale, twist that right elbow towards that left elbow. Inhale, hold. Exhale, bring it up. That's one. Inhale, hold, exhale down. Inhale, hold, exhale up. That's two. Hold, exhale down. Hold, exhale up. Hold it up here again. 
Now place your left hand down, step your left foot back. I twist it, close lunge for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand down. Step that right foot back for a down dog position again. Setting yourselves up for the same thing on the other side. Left leg up as you inhale. Press into that left heel. And then very slowly step your left foot towards the outside of your left hand. Drop both elbows down. Lizard lunge position. Press into that right heel here. Keep growing to the base of your skull for five, four, three, two, one. Right arm extends, left hand around the left ear lobe, and then step that right foot towards the right side of your mat. Grab a hold of the left ankle with your right hand, bend the elbow. Exhale, left elbow towards right. Hold, exhale up, thoracic twist again, exhale down, hold, exhale up, gaze towards the ceiling if available, down on an exhale, last time going up on an exhale again, right hand down, right foot steps back, hold the posture, five, Four, three, two, one. Left hand down, small vinyasa. Left foot steps back, shift forward as you inhale. High plank to low plank with the knees down, chest and chin go down. Inhale, pull through, just the baby cobra. Exhale, flatten down. Hands wider than the mat. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the chest up. On your next exhale, gaze over the left shoulder, lengthening the right flank of the body. Inhale, hold. Exhale, untwist and go down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder. Hold, exhale, untwist, lower down. Hands underneath the shoulder heads, curl your toes under, tabletop again. All right, so from tabletop, make sure you set yourselves up properly for your down dog again. It's going to be a nice wave of resistance now. So bear with me, place your hands a little further towards the top of the mat again, hug those elbows in, and then very slowly start sending your hips up, up and away again. Head in between the arms. On your next inhale, right leg lifts up. Press into that right heel. Exhale, tuck your right knee towards the outer edge of your right elbow, preferably a little higher, just if you can. Inhale, send that right leg up again. Press into that right heel. Exhale, right knee, outer edge of left elbow. Inhale, send it out. Now on your exhale, step it through. You're going for a high and open twist, left hand down, right arm goes up. Keep pressing into that left heel, stabilizing the hips. Fingertips of that left hand on the floor. Preparing yourselves for a standing split. One more inhale here. Exhale, right hand towards right ankle. Position your left hand a little wider than the mat. And then on your inhale, pick up your left leg. Press your left heel, right heel I mean, into the floor. Point the toes of that left foot. For five, four, three, two, one. Left foot releases down as you exhale. Left hand in position for down dog, right hand in position for down dog. Right foot steps back. Same thing on the other side. Left leg up as you inhale. Press into the left heel. 
Exhale, left knee towards the outer edge, left elbow, point the toes. Inhale, send it out. Press into the heel. Exhale, outer edge, right elbow, keep it nice and high. Inhale, send it out. Press into that left heel. And then on your exhale, step it through. High open, twisted lunge as you exhale. Fingertips of that right hand connected to the floor, left arm reaching up. Tune into your breathing again. On your exhale, left hand releases down towards left ankle. Position your right hand a little wider than the mat. Inhale, pick your right leg up. Press into the left heel. Base of your skull going down. Point the toes of the right foot. Exhale, release the right foot down. Hands in position for a high plank. Shift forward as you inhale. Exhale, knees down. Chest and chin go down. Inhale, pull it through. Exhale, belly flat. Inhale, tabletop. Flatten the feet down and then move into Seiza for a brief moment before we move into that exquisite muscle meltdown. So let's do a few circulations with the wrists here, moving, moving them towards you, releasing tension in the tendons of the extensor and the flexor, and then move in the opposite direction. Yes. So what we'll be doing in a bit is a side plank on both sides. After that, a nice low plank transition back to high plank, and then we'll be doing mountain climbers. So you're going to feel your core. That's one thing that's for sure. So with no further ado, let's drop into it. Set yourselves up for high plank. From high plank position, turn towards the left hip, right arm up, hold for three, two, one, right hand down, same thing on the other side. Hold that left arm up for three, two, one. Left hand down, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low plank, hold. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale, mountain climbers, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep breathing, two, 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 one, release. Knees down, flatten the feet, hands on the thighs. Recapture your breathing. All right, so that was round one. I can almost hear you thinking round one out of what? Round one out of two. So we're diving in into that second round. Bear with me after that last second of mountain climbing, you're going to lower down all the way belly flat. flat. So let's go. Set yourselves up, high plank, tops of your tippy toes, turn towards the left, right arm up, up and away, three, two, one. Right hand down, turn towards the other side, left arm up, three two one left hand down shift forward on an inhale exhale down hold inhale up mountain climb ten nine eight seven six five four three two and a half two one and a half one a half and zero Knees down, chest and chin go down, belly flat. Now turn towards your back, slowly. Draw your knees in for a brief moment. Draw the belly button closer towards the spine as you do so and then flatten the feet down, setting up for bridge pose. Grab a hold of the outer edges of your mat, long side, 
Scooch those shoulder blades and those arms closer towards the spine. And as you inhale, slowly start lifting up those hips. Hold the top position. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, slowly lower down. Let the knees fall inwards, giving that SI joint a moment to rebound. Hands on the abdomen, tuning to your breathing. And then scoot your hips towards the right long side of the mat. Drop your knees down towards the left. Stack those knees on top of one another. Right arm goes up in a cactus shape gazing towards the right if available or up towards the ceiling if not with every exhalation slightly move the right hip a little further away from that right shoulder blade on an exhale you untwist Scooching your hips towards the left long side of the mat, dropping your knees towards the right, stacking those knees on top of one another. Left arm goes out in a cactus shape. On your left, gazing towards the left if available or otherwise towards the ceiling. Almost there. Tune into your breathing again. And on your next exhale, untwist. Give yourselves a nice big hug here again. Hug yourselves, love yourselves. And then very slowly extend your legs. Let them fall wider than the mat. Place your hands on your abdomen. Soften your eyelids. And then let go of the modified breathing. Slowly simmer all the way down into relaxation. From here on out, you just tune into your breath, letting go of the modified breathing, just simmering into that relaxed area that you yourselves have cultivated. feeling and sensing how you've melted away all of the stress. My name is Jelani. Thank you for practicing with me. Keep spreading the love.